Not that Madame Mary gives two shits. That space rock has any value, she'll find a way to get her claws on it. That bastard's daughter would sell her own heartbeat for a pair of nickel. <laughs> Ezra and the mayor have what you might call a hate-hate relationship. You know, I worked at the power station at Spivey Point for 23 motherfucking years. Look at me, I soaked up so much radiation. Working for those capitalists, I practically glow in the dark. Then Duma's old man lays me off with a one motherfucking red cent for pension. And pun intended, too, brother. Pun intended. What they don't know is I got enough ion juice locked up in this bank to power seven suns. And when this core lights up, it's gonna be the second motherfucking coming. I'm, I'm talking Bible shit. You listening? You know, stones from the sky? They are once considered God sent. Origins of creation itself. Oh, yeah, you're talking about the panspermia theory. The idea that meteoric debris seeded our planet with the building blocks of life. I'm talking reality, brother. Meteorites are the bedrock of all religions. You know the statue of the goddess that's worshipped by the Romans at the Vatican? That statue was carved from the same black arrowlet as the Kaaba Muslims face when they kneel in prayer. <laughs> Bet they didn't teach you that in college. How do you know all this crazy shit, Ezra? I Google. Would you like a glass of water? No, thank you. That's actually what I'm here to discuss. Warren, back from the woods a little sooner than expected. We found traces of unidentified contamination in the groundwater. We'll need to authorize further tests. You do know the contracts have already been signed. Construction has to begin by the end of fall if we're to stay on schedule. Will it really matter when the Gardner Farm is at the bottom of the largest man-made lake in New England? This lake is supposed to provide drinking water for half the East Coast, so, yeah. What is the real issue here? Are we not paying you well enough? I mean, whatever happened to the good old-fashioned concept of teamwork? We can all just pull together just once for the sake of your mother. No, 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 no! Not another word out of you, young lady. Not one goddamn word! Please, for fuck's sake! No, no, there's no need for that kind of language. You should hear yourself. Everything's at this, at that. Yeah, I know it's the fucking 21st century, but if I spoke that way, my father would have chopped my head off and played soccer with it. You never wanted to... Years, it seemed plenty of stars. How about <laughs> I tell you a little bit of the story that we started the other night? Huh? <coughs> Bless you, my honey. Okay, so how do you begin? Uh, once upon a time, when we all lived in the forest, there was a little boy named Jack. along with his mother. And although she loved him very, very much, he never paid the slightest attention to anything she said. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on.
All right, come on, girl. I don't have to run away. Hello. All right. Want to hear about the wild dream I had? Want to hear about the wild dream? Yeah, oh, yeah, you do? Okay. So it started when I was on this plane. We were all on the plane, the whole family. Uh, we were all there, all five of us. And then all of a sudden, I was in the cockpit, and I was the pilot. And I don't know why. But I was the pilot, and there were like dragons and shit in the sky, like crazy, like multicolored dragons. I know, you getting scared? It was scary. It was scary. And saw all these crazy dragons. We're like avoiding them, trying to get away from them. And we went up all the way into space. We were into space, and we were like hurtling towards this like black hole. Hey, be nice, guys, be nice. Hurtling into space. And we didn't know what was going to happen, and so we're going through, and everyone was freaking mm. out. But I was staying totally calm. Mm. And we come out. Oh, come on. Come on. It's just like Lavinia. Come on. This is really interesting stuff. Mm. So we're, we're in the black hole. Come on. Sit down. Come on. Mm. Come on. It won't take long. Oh, All right. So anyway. <sighs> so we go through the black hole. I'll be quicker. I get it. I get it. I'm being long-winded. I understand. So, we get through the black hole, and we're in this, like, alternate dimension. There's, like, different versions of, like, the whole family. And everyone's really freaked out, and we don't know what to do, because now it's, like, this totally new reality and dimension. And, you know, you have to try to now make the best of it. So I was going to ask myself, like, what advice... He had like the alternate dimension me what he was going to do because he's in this new dimension it's all new but then i woke up before he could tell me what to do so i don't know what the heck we were going to do take care of everything and everything's going to be okie dokie okay right jack you want to do some exercise Huh? No, stop it. Get, get, you have to get the you have to get the blood yeah, flowing, okay. right? That calms okay, everything baby. down, it's right? Okay. What? Okay, honey. You guys both. I want you both to take it no, easy. Everything's just, good. I'm just, happy. Aren't you just, happy? Chill. <laughs> chill. <laughs> Don't I'm I seem really chill? Acting crazy. No, I'm not. It's scaring me. What's crazy? I've done. What have I done wrong? I just said I want to help you guys. Take care of everything. No, I feel. I feel. Pretty, pretty Can you just be quiet? I feel pretty damn strong right now. I think I can just like almost do like a handstand. A handstand. Mm. Ow. Fuck. Wait. Oh. I know I can do like a handstand push up somewhere. I don't know. Just ignore it. Feeling pretty good though. Feeling kind of invincible. You are really acting like a jackass. I know I can do a handstand push-up, I just have to be able to just... I don't want to hurt myself, but I can do it, right? I used to be able to do this as a kid! Fuck! We're gonna go downstairs. Where are you guys going? Come on. Come on, baby. Don't forget the crayons. Well, these suck. Mixing a little fennel into their feed increases the yield and improves the flavor. Would you like a taste? Oh, no. Uh, lactose intolerant. <clears throat> You're lost. <sighs> Mighty civilizations have fallen for less. <laughs> 
I'm surprised the mayor didn't tell you about the work I'm doing. I'm sorry, I assumed everyone had been notified. She may have. You can ask Teresa. I'm done with politics. Moved out here to get away from all that. He's uh, special.